everyone, it's Allie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be featuring Pink and Main's Christmas Mugs stamp set. I just love this stamp set. It is so darling. Um, the images in it I think you can use for Christmas, but as well all through the winter season. Um, I printed mine on Bristol Smooth cardstock. Um, I believe I used my um, Gina K Amalgam ink. Um, I used that because I did want to use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers and that way um, my ink won't smudge. And I just picked some random colors here. Um, I used a mix of traditional and non-traditional. I really, really do like to add some pinks and blues. Um, when I do some Christmas stuff, it, I don't know, I think it just makes it a little bit different, gives it a little bit more fun <laughs> to it. Um, I really do like my traditional green, reds, golds, um, but then I do like to um, have a little more fun and make some stamps and cards, make some, or color some stamps um, a little bit more playful. So I'm a coffer, coffee and tea lover. So I love to buy stamp sets featured around that. I just, I don't know why, but I think it's just so much fun um, to color those up. And, you know, most of us are coffee or tea drinkers, so um, you can usually color it for either one. Um, I know we have a little coffee shop in our town. I like to give gift cards from there. Um, so it's kind of fun. I can make my own tags or cards to go along with it. Um, so here, I'm just gonna show you a bit of my coloring, not all of it. Um, but for this one, I think this was the first time I used, I bought the blender from Zig, and I did purchase that um, at Scrapping for Less. I'm not sure if she still carries that in the store. I'll take a look. Um, if she does, I will link it down below. But I, I have to tell you, it is like a game changer. Um, when I use these markers, I would tend to use a water brush. Um, or I would just use a darker to blend into a lighter. Um, sometimes they're very vibrant. So sometimes when I use the dark and the light, it was just too vibrant for me. But I don't always like using the um, water brush with it because sometimes with those you get too much water that comes out or you get too little water that comes out. Um, I will tend to use that if I want a more watercolor look, um, but on these, the images are pretty small, so I didn't want, I wanted it more precise. So luckily with these markers, the brush tips, um, I like the length of them, and I tend to, you know, I'm not the neatest color. <laughs> Sometimes I will go out of the lines. So I work very well with these because they're small enough um, where I can control them a lot better. I did at one point have the Arteza um, brush markers and even though I loved their colors, um, I could not complain. The markers were wonderful. They worked great. Um, for me, the only problem I had with them was their brush tip was a lot larger than the Zigs, um, and so was the pen. And I, I just had a harder time controlling it. Um, but I would say, you know, if if that's not your problem, I would definitely try those. The price point is awesome on them. Um, and they work, I feel, just as well as the Zigs. So um, I tend to use my alcohol markers first, and I, f I forget about, hey, I have my colored pencils, or I have these Zigs, and then I pull them out, and then it's like I'm addicted again. <laughs> so I think they just color so beautifully, and it looks like you spent a lot more time on it than um, you did. <laughs> So um, they're very, very fun to work with. And on that Bristol paper, they're just perfect. Um, I really haven't tried them on any other papers. I just, 
everyone that uses them, typically I hear um, Bristol's the best. So I'm just going to stick with that <laughs> since it works. And that's about it. So I do have the dies for this set. Um, pink and main, pink and main, you, you get me every time because who doesn't want to buy pink dies? Like, I don't know if some people are the same as I, but like if there is like pink dyes or blue dyes or green dyes or something fun, <laughs> I will tend to buy those other than if dyes are just silver. And I know that's something weird and stupid and shouldn't matter, but I just, I don't know, they're pretty. <laughs> so, you know, if they're pretty dyes, you want to buy them to go with your your stamps. So they get me. But I um, felt awful because I did hear um, in some of my Facebook groups that Pink and Main store was broken into. And I, I don't know. It's just awful. You know, there's so much good in the world, but then there's so much, so much bad people do. And, um, I had recently bought something for them and that's why I'm kind of focusing on some of their stamps. Um, if you can patronize, please go to their um, website. Um, and you know, if you can do any part um, of helping them out, that that is great. If you can't, please, you know, don't feel you have to. Um, but I figured, you know, now's the time to promote them a little bit. They are an awesome store, awesome customer service, beautiful stamps. Um, I would love one day to go see their store. And uh, I wish them all happy, good luck in the future, and hopefully, you know, nothing like that will happen again. So here I used Reverse Confetti's Christmas Pad and Studio Katia, one of her tag dies, and I'm just showing you um, the dies from Pink and Main there. So I did pull out, I'm going to use the sentiments that came with the stamp, um, Java Merry Christmas and Warm Wishes. Um, I did cut my Java Merry Christmas stamp. I know some people cringe at that, <laughs> but I, you know, I tell you, I will use my stamps more when I cut them because they go back. I mean, they really and truly do. It's not hurting your stamp as long as you cut it, you know, in the area you're supposed to. I mean, I've never cut my stamp and had a problem, um, but it's nice they can go back because they just kind of fit back together. Um, but when you cut them, you can just use them for more things or position them how you wanted. And for these little tags that I cut out, um, I didn't have that much room and I wanted to use that sentiment. So I had to do it. <laughs> so here um, I did use the Bristol Smooth Paper. I used my Wonky Stitch. Um, or no, I'm sorry, I didn't. I used the Studio Katia part of the tag there um, to cut out. When I use a white cardstock, I tend to use that same white cardstock throughout, um, just so the whites are the same. It's amazing to pull out like your white cardstocks and look at all the different shades of white. And I'm one of those people, if I put a different shade of white um, on the same card and I can see it. <laughs> I can see the difference and it will bug me. So here I'm just darkening up a little bit of an area there. Um, for some reason I just didn't get it stamped right in that one little area. Nothing to do with the stamp, just me. So I just fix that up with a pen and I cut out different um, pattern papers and I just figured out what looked best with what cup and I'm going to use some ribbon that is from Stampin' Up and I'm just going to add that to the top and I don't know I, I my scissors are getting really run down the ones I have for ribbon so I bought some new ones the Tim Holtz 
I think he calls them the haberdashery scissors, um, which are nice and sharp. So I'm going to start using those. I have a hard time throwing out my stamps. So here I'm using a fiber. Um, this is actually from Busy Box Blends. Um, a friend of mine who runs a couple Facebook groups, um, notably the one I was in was the enablers with her. Um, I helped admin that. I really haven't been doing it um, right now since I'm trying to get my channel up and running. Uh, and I have my kids home, but she makes fiber blends. So if you use any type of ribbons or blends on your cards or scrapbook pages or crafts, um, oh my God, she has so many, um, so many different kinds, so many different colors. They're great price. Um, they're beautiful. Um, and I, I don't tend to use a ton of ribbon, um, but when I do, I do tend to gravitate towards hers. So if you want to check her out, um, you can find her information in the description box below. And I have to tell you that <laughs> for each of her admins, she had made our own blend um, of some of our favorite colors. So my blend is called Allie K's and it's got aquas and blues um, and then some like grays and um, to offset it, but I just love it. <laughs> and if you start buying those, you might become addicted. <laughs> so I'm like, I have no more room left in my drawer. <laughs> but so here I am struggling with a bow as usual. Um, at first, I wasn't sure how I was going to add the little tag to the big tag, but I think it came out. Um, so cute there and I can use the larger ribbon when I want to tie that um, on a present or I mean you can even pop that on a card base um, and use it as a card or you know whatever you want to do and so I'm just gonna finish up putting all those tags together and I want to thank you for joining me today um, please comment, like, subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. You know, I'm still a fairly new channel. I'm trying to grow. Um, I'm so excited that I did start this opportunity and everyone is so wonderful. Um, it's just been great. So I really, really do appreciate you guys. Um, here, I have all my little gems put on like a slip ring. Um, that way I can flip through them easily. And I just added a few of those to each tag um, to spice those up a little bit. And there you have it. So I just want to thank you so much for joining me today. And until the next video, have a wonderful day. Bye.